What's up, bro? Can you turn on your hotspot? Um, what for? Sorry. Hey, he's coming over there, man. You should scare the fuck out of him, dude. What? You should scare the fuck out of him, dude. Oh, I need to run on my phone. Fuck. Let me see your thing real quick. Oh, you can't turn it on automatically. For some reason. No, no, no. Well, that's your ass. Dude, how is it even connected? That's crazy. I didn't even. What the fuck? Yo, yeah, why don't you get the. Uh... Hey. Get the football and the, and the one of the soccer balls. And don't bother me till Andy's here, nerd. Come on, I'm in soon. I'm writing a little to your uncle. Hold on. It's fine, yeah, he's slightly about as oblivious as me when it comes to breaking balls.
Where's the football?
What if someone just stole them right from behind me like a camera phone and shit? How hard would that be? Hard as my dick It'll when I hard. see you for the first It'll time on like Monday. Wait, like what? A fucking titanium sphere wrapped in deflated uranium. I missed the beginning. My penis. It's, it's that it's, hard. No, but you said something about I don't remember. That was Monday. five seconds. Oh, as hard as my penis is when I see you for the first time. Did you see me for the first time? Oh, yeah. It's that hair. I'm a hairist. Be arrested. Hey, Bob! I, I was over here for a couple hours right the other day. The lady in that house comes over. She's like, Excuse me, are you recording our house? I'm like, Why would I record your house? <laughs> like, it's a piece of shit. I didn't say that, but I should have. because uh, she wants to go to Crosby Field. It's actually nice as fuck now. What's wait, Crosby Field? It's a different that's, park. So there's like Mang. Colvin. It's basically Mang, like, way the fuck oh, down. Oh, Crosby. It's close but, and similar. But they have, they have basketball hoops. They're shitty. Like, yeah, they do. Um, I will go with you guys if you go to Crosby. I don't think she's going to. She basically was like, no. Hey! I thought she wanted to go. Yeah. Oh, 
Japan wants to go. We were there yesterday. It was like raining. We were hiding under the bleachers. It was a soccer game. Made a lot of fun. How do things her mom won't let her have fun two days in a row? Is there any truth to that? I mean, Tia couldn't do anything when she was young. So like one day, I think she was having a lunch. And maybe Bud was like, I didn't get to do that. And then they say, she's like, oh, I feel bad. And she goes, so I didn't get to do that. I feel bad. Not no, no, not no. There's some truth, probably. I don't know if it's, I don't think there's any chance Tia has calculated that consciously or admitted it. Right. It's probably not spot on. Abraham! fucking day now. The weather's been great this year, right? Yeah. It's been really nice. I, I, I did put my air conditioner in though last night. Yeah. So I, dude, I, I, I put it on 65. Could it get there or no? Yeah. yeah. Put it's a big blanket nice. on that or what do you do? You gotta sleep on it. That's weird. You get snow air, snow conditioning. <laughs> It's like, are you conserving energy or are you trying to make it as cold as the winter? Right. I wonder, I wonder how many people like just like let their house get cold as fuck for like, like just just like have a warm bed or like their their their, their, their box spring heats up. So it's like a small right. envelope, but that's it. Then they just like kind of. I mean, some of the smart house shit's crazy. Like you yeah. can run so much. You build a house from scratch, and you can do like. It's not really all that advanced. But they got a lot of a lot of abilities, communication to every fuck. See, that's maybe maybe we should. I don't know what to exactly focus on. I mean, I can't. I haven't been able to pick something hardcore to like. But maybe we could just call my dad that. Obviously, like we do want to build a car garage at some point, right? We want to build like at least a couple at least a couple models of different geometric structures for a basic workshop. So for single dads. Run me through the, the, the... It's a carriage house. It's just our version of a carriage house. Whatever, all the ideas we have... It's called the Carage? Carage housing. Carage. Carage. Okay. Carage, carage housing. Yeah. But, like, the ultimate version might be, like, the Pantheon in Rome. It might actually be, like, this cylinder with a dome okay. and an oculus in top and a sphere inside. The basic space is a sphere. And then with, like, some... Even with some columns in front, like the real one. And those columns in front could be, like, storage tanks. Right, they could be like things you have like wheat, water, like whatever it was, right? Because like you just have, you don't want stone. Maybe you put glass. And, I mean, in a good one, it'd probably be like an extra twenty grand for like glass cylinders from Las Vegas. But then you could like you could see the wheat, you could see wheat and rice and algae and what like you could, like all this crazy shit in front of your house. But I'm trying to get to the simplest version too, which is almost certainly a hole in the ground, in, in the shape of a circle, dug by a machine that just. You know, when you got a circle, you can cut, right? It's easy to cut with a circle. So cut down a yurt in the ground. What, and then, then the first four circle is like a huge structure. You're not gonna be driving a car in, but you could. It's gotta be strong enough you could drive a heavy truck in. But I think most of the shit would be there. And you have utilities down here, and this floor, and a lot of stuff would come into it. So you could plug in anywhere upstairs if you wanted, right? You could probably like have, I mean, ideally the whole floor would sort of be electrified, and then we'd have like our own plug system. So you'd have the plug like from an existing vacuum. And you just attach whatever our system is, right? You just cover, you just bridge all the all the existing cords and shit, right? You just put ours on, and then you can just plug it in anywhere in holes. I think how long the standard for plugs was built, <laughs> like a long time ago. They're not great. Like if you can do USB C, like why don't they have USB E, like electricity? I mean, it's not that hard to adapt a plug, right? It's just not. It's like it's one of the things you'd be making is adapters that could, I mean, probably one or, eh, maybe there'd be three of them, but like, but you're just attaching to a plug. And usually the plugs, what, they're about that big, right? And then about this far back, there's a cord, that's a little hole in there, you know? You might want a little O-ring that goes over the cord, and you put it on, rock the O-ring around it, and then, I, mean, I don't know. So, but a basement, I mean, you wouldn't need a basement, right? You could build the first one on a slab, so you just have a concrete slab, that's maybe, maybe, let's just say fuck the basement, right? Concrete slab. Ideally, the same, like, the concrete lab is also built by laying, like, a, an aluminum ring down or a steel ring with four ground anchors, right? So it's very, like, the first thing that's there is a, is a, is a leveled steel, steel circle, say 30 feet in diameter, whatever, whatever the garage is, 30 feet, 25, 26, 
and then you put that thing on, even if you're not cutting the basement, you can still have the, the concrete truck come, feed it in the middle, and the thing will just spin. Right, and lay the concrete perfectly, right? It'll just lay the concrete perfectly smooth, because it's on a perfectly flat, right? You've adjusted the ground anchor so the ring is perfect. So once you put the track on here and the track on here, this beam will always be level. And like a 3D printer will know exactly. And then it can just go like real thin layers of concrete, probably cooling them. And then your slab is done. Now, when you're done with that, I think you, you add another attachment to this thing, which will drill holes, right? Maybe it'd be, it might be a water exam. Like, I don't know if it's a drill or whatever. And it would drill holes through the whole fucking, not all the way through. But so that there was like a perfectly geometric arrangement of like 10,000 holes where, where you could just kind of like, and then you'd have your sensor overhead. So when you were building something, if you want to like weld together a frame, it would be like put one here and you put a pin here and a pin there and a pin there, right? And then you'd like take three pieces and you'd be able to put it in there and, and, and weld it together. And it would be exactly dimensioned, right? Like, because these holes will be, will be dug and all of our floors the same. It's kind of like just making your garage floor a pegboard. For, for building some standardized shit, right? You want to assemble shit on your garage floor? You should be able to, right? That's a it's, fucking... It's to your specifications. Well, I you, would believe that, no, like, the... I, I mean, so what you're, you're putting making. in the pegs, mm -hmm. that's... Yeah, you could, well, you could either get a pre-existing... Where they are, okay. Like, you'd say, play this blueprint, and it would shine like a laser, and they'd be lit up, and you put these pieces, boom, 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 you probably weld it by hand, right? You probably have a little backpack welded coming back, and then you have like a bike frame, right? Or whatever it was, you have like a frame for, like inside of a 30 foot diameter circle, say 25 feet is usable, you could make big shit, right? Like you could, you could on a perfectly flat floor, and we're not gonna have any crown for drainage, like those whole, I'd say the holes themselves are probably drainage. In case anything spills, like I would say all those holes actually go down to like underneath, like something under the slab, like gravel or whatever, right? So it would go like right down. If, if, if there was a flood, it would drain out. But then you could just like, you'd have everywhere you had one of these garages, people could actually start to fabricate real shit. You know, like if you could make- And then on top is where you live? Okay, so well, so yeah. So the first floor is just, a, it's a cylinder, probably made of concrete, the same, the same metal thing, right? Has a different print head once the slab's down and it starts printing like this, up. Prints up to form a cylinder, which is another easy thing relative to other construction to do, right? You just, once you have the cylinder, the printer just follows the track and lays a millimeter down of concrete. Okay. That's all it does. And then, and then you, like, and maybe some reinforcement. Um, and then you have, then you have like the basic fucking structure. And then in, in the same thing I was talking about for putting over the hole in the ground, like that, that, that disc is so important, right? Like what you're putting on top of that concrete cylinder to form the roof of your garage and the floor of where you live, right? That disc is probably the most intensely manufactured piece. Now, if we build the slab right, right? When you lay the slab down, you figure like, what pieces do I need, right? To make the top or whatever. What pieces do I need for reinforcement? You probably make them on the slab before you even raise the walls up. Right? You have an open, you just have an open slab, you have a temporary tent over it. Probably like an X with you know a big inflated column and a big inflated column, so it just be like covering you like down to like this low for rain or whatever. Make all the pieces that you need to assemble your house as designed with the computer watching. Like it's gonna be a little camera that if you look down on the room and and then we have all the pieces made, ready to go, then you have the wall printed up and then you start to, and then you assemble. You get a couple, probably a couple I-beams like, maybe like this, sent to you, like maybe this big, whatever it is, you know, and probably two of them would go over. You know, they would go on and then four, maybe four, pie, maybe the floor would be four pie slices. That'd be easier, right? Instead of a big circle being manufactured, like if you could make it in four pie slices, then you could make it in the house, on the floor, and like then like, be like little cranes lifted up into place and and like i don't know use magnets or something and pull some cams out and then it will be locked into the steel and you have like one quarter another quarter another quarter another quarter and that and, and if that's all you put on you just that would be like your roof right you just have your garage and then a, an industrial top and on the top we probably have like i don't know some kind of like if we weren't putting the real top on we'd probably have like a rubber circle or something you know something that would go over the top and protect it from any kind of water and, until it was Increase until until the, the the dome or whatever was placed on top that would be able to, that would keep all the water out, and that's really it though. You just have you can easily have 
the concrete workshop and like basically a, an awesome tent on top and that, like in the beginning and, you know when you, like you can probably want the workshop you probably want the walls but the actual top part I think is not it would be could be kept simple as fuck and then once we go to build a second location we actually send all those structures hey it's hey his name is hey What's up? His name is Hayde. He's Jewish. His name is Heed. Oh. Hebrew Ham. Hey, you're out of the teaching. Go get one more. The fuck? No, there's a hole in the car. There's a hole. What are you going to have him with? I'll put a little catch with enemy for you? Are you catching with me or what do you want to do? Matt? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. If somebody ever gets mad, like, dude, why are you putting holes in the grass, you fucking asshole? Oh, John better bring me some smokes. He's taking so much, he's just getting worse. It's a two pack. He's like, I take a pack, he takes two. Like, I asked me, he's like, yeah, I took two. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, now I have no packs left. I'm like, you fucking killed me. And you're just, now you're just being a dick and forcing me to just keep eating it until I say, fuck off. So you're 800 you give bucks. Him money to buy the cigarettes? No, I buy all my own cigarettes. He's just taking them now. No, 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 but what I'm saying is, does he get them for you? No. Oh. There's nothing. He just says, why can't you throw in weed? I'm like, because I don't smoke nearly as much as you and you fucking murder eternity. Faggot has to mean something else to me. I gotta come up with another definition. Come up with a new word. Ragged. Dragon. Taggot. I mean, totally different. Totally Faggot. Different. Huh? What? What's up, buddy? Did you say hi to Mr. Fucking Just Ice Hockey, dude? He's a Justice Hockey player, dude. Respect! Punk! Why did the plain ones? What? The plain ones. You don't like the blue ones? Oh, mine's the plain ones. What the fuck is that about? Hot sauce. You're, have you played dodgeball with a football yet? No, right? No. You played dodgeball kick? Have you ever played kick dodgeball? Playing with soccer balls and footballs. Imagine you dribbling. Told me about this. Guy. Dribbling a soccer ball and holding a ball, chasing after your friend. And hitting him with both. Like you throw the ball and then you kick it, and as he falls, you hit him, he starts to fall, and then you hit him in his balls from behind as he falls. What? what? The blue ones are playing, you fucking nerd. Close your eyes, you idiot. How are they playing? Why don't you bring some out here with some salsa? Tell Hannah to come out for a minute. Yada yada yada. Like we could make a model of that easily as fuck. Like it would like, and it would probably be really cool. Now, how does it look if you just have a concrete cylinder? Not that great, right? But if you got a cylinder, and hey, we've talked about this, right? And you want to like, you can make a you piece, have piece of colored concrete. We color it like stucco kind of. Why is concrete always that color? That yeah, color? I, I don't know. It would be definitely like we oh, could make like a nice gray like or something. Purple, like, red. I think like a gray purple would be pretty hot. Not too like you know a little bit of a little bit of purple in there, a little earthy. But you could do that, or you know, my thing is a lot of people if, if they were buying them from us not to be installed on campuses, like if they bought it as like a kit that came in a semi or something, and they put the cylinder would be placed down, and then it'd just be like corner pieces, which is what it's like a wall. It's basically just two walls like this, would, you know, that would snap into the circle, right? You put, put them together, open it up. Attach, attach, and then when you put four of them on, it looks like a square. Inside the circle. No, no, outside the circle. Outside. The like circle. composite panels, like fiberglass or like wood or something. Like almost like it could almost be like fence areas, right? It looks like nice wood. And, and if you did it, this I mean, the way a circle is, if you did it, you'd actually wouldn't even see the circle, right? Because they would just get to the quarter point, corner, 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 corner. The cylinder would disappear. And then those corner pieces could be like of differential strength, but you put, you put your if you don't have a basement. You put your water heater there, put your rakes there, you know, shit like that, whatever. Like in between the cylinder and the wall. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, yeah, I mean, if you did, I mean, I don't know if you could, like, you probably wouldn't do it like this. It would probably just go like this. Like, just open up completely. You could have, like, tools on the walls and shit. And you have four corners for that. In, in a hurricane situation, you might spend, like, an hour, like, bringing shit inside. <laughs> like, you might be like, fuck, like, we got to take these walls off. And then you'd like, probably go over and you'd, like, Take your like purpose design like uh, crowbar and you know pop the pin out with one friend. Boom, boom, boom. Put the shit inside. Stack it. Lock shit down. Go through the hurricane, and you're okay. And the tent on top, I believe, could be sucked down if it's a tent, like sucked down, like mm -hmm. from up, down, up, down, or 
the one that has like all it is is like a bug net and, and then like four panels that just like strong panels right that just open up and you got solar plants here and solar plants here so at night plants are hanging because like, they're hanging right so they can rotate and then during and then you go like this and they rotate again because they're just hanging right so they rotate whatever way and then you have like you have 40 plants 40 plants 40 plants 40 plants and panels 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 and that's just four like and then we just it, in any kind of a property where we're making those like stamping out a 30 foot diameter dome not really all that complicated like it's it's we'll take what big mold but once you had it you'd start laying the fiber resonating and and curing it like and and the same thing with circles you get perfect cover you rotate an arch right it is perfect if it's perfectly bright if it's a, if it's a, if it's a per, basically a perfect arch on a perfect circle it's just going to rotate and then maybe maybe actually we probably do what they do with some of the, the concrete domes that they inflate you know like you see in the bucky ball the, they they like inflate like a fabric and then they spray concrete mm. that's basically what they do and they're like pretty expensive i don't think we'd go that far i think we'd have like a, like permanent domes that were the inside shape and then we would you then we would snap on the outer thing and that would lay the fiberglass and the reinforcement and then spray like the what Not I mean, maybe my dad would be like, why don't, you know, why don't you build one out of wood first? We could do that too, right? We could build one a stick building with the same basic idea, just making a few compromises. The circle part is kind of hard, but maybe we'd be like, all right, we got beams that are 18 inches on center all the way around. So we need to come up with a panel that attaches nicely to them that we can quickly attach. If we keep the spacing consistent, right? Once we'll make a mold to make that one panel and then panel, 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 panel. And then the stick building will kind of be included without needing to use concrete. But it's like, just, 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 Because we're talking prototypes. Like, the, the, the ideas for how you really manufacture and shit, you got to prove your concept first. And even modeling, we, I think I think too much in terms of how are these ultimately made. Like, how do we make them at scale? What we really want to model is somebody says, wow, that's really simple. A lot of room. Nice living space upstairs for, like, a dad room for up to three Murphy bed, like Edward Murphy beds, which are just horizontal Murphy beds, right? And if you really set up, you got big screen, big screen, big screen, big screen, fold down, bed, can't watch TV in bed. And then like, if you're there by yourself, actually, you'd fold your bed down so the TV was like the nightlight, like glowing on the floor. And then you could see the other three t TVs if your kids weren't over. But all the no, if all the other kids, if all the kids are over though, you fold them all down, sleep, 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 what, you know? back to your daughter like you don't need a ton of privacy here right i'm your dad if she lives with her mother like that just we're us i mean you would want in my case I, like we each only have two so it'd be me or you owen olivia each in their own quarter and then the fourth one would be like a bath you know like a, an area with some kind of like wall like cause remember how the walls would like close in gym and shit you have that in school yeah kind of close like something like we just get for privacy not that complicated. I mean, it might be a fifteen hundred dollar fucking like door wall type thing. But so what? Like you're, you're starting at such a lower, such a lower cost estimate in the first place through simplification and saying, do you want this? Do you want to pay five hundred grand for this? All your rooms are going to be empty. Like if, if you're smart, you have one amazing room that, like where everything is amazing. Then you don't have six other rooms that you have to like furnish and put shit in and pay for because you're not going to use them. In your workshop. Get your tight ass fucking one room apartment with, I mean, with the privacy bathroom that is an option. I guess you want, everyone would probably want that. I mean, I'm saying for me, I'm sure you would love it too. Like, if you have a workshop and a single, I mean, maybe Olivia might pitch and I'd be like, all right, we need some extra stuff to, like, like we need to get like these pieces that would snap in that would actually create a room, you know, for like a daughter. But they wouldn't be load bearing, they wouldn't be load bearing at all. They'd just be like thick enough to give her sound insulation and whatever, it's no... I mean, you could build these things to have actual walls, but it would kind of defeat the purpose, right? Like you wouldn't, you'd want an open space, like I think. One of the advantages would be like, holy shit, this is fucking well, open. Why can't you just have several floors and have yeah. one floor is live with? Well, you know, the daughter. yeah. Well, I mean, and you could do, you could do that if you do, the whole point is, one of the points is to make it so that like we lay the foundation. Let's just go back to the basement. You take the foundation, you put in the, fir the first floor and then you, and then you, then you do the concrete around. 
no reason why then you like you put on this the second one which is just one floor up and then do the same thing on top of that if you want to i don't think jacking is the best idea like if you have a concrete, concrete cylinder, you have a perfect attachment point to continue going up. Right. Just follow what you have. Right. Um, and and we probably say, okay, we're going to build robust when it comes to the basement. Like we're going to dig it out. We're going to put a little bit extra in because not a lot, but we're going to put a little extra in so that if it turns out that this university campus needs much more housing, then we go vertical. And then you and then you could like every 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 level you go up, you basically double the residential capacity of that campus, or for like a bigger family. But I mean, I don't think of it like as a, a family thing so much as a thing where like single dads who are working their balls off to like have their kids to come visit, <coughs> and probably probably love right. Like, is this place weird? Sure. Like, is it circles? Sure. Like, do we have electric jet skis that nobody owns? We do, and they're awesome. How much just works? Uh, oh, it's Monday. Yeah, it is Monday. Did, did shit. Um, just, just. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of bankruptcy. Yeah. So, so I had to print up my two credit reports. How much debt do you have? Probably like thirty thousand. Can you get rid of it, maybe? It's all gone. Oh, it's already gone? No, no, no. I, oh, if it, when you're done. Yeah, after I file bankruptcy. Yeah. And then, like, whatever, you have credit issues, like, it's hard to get credit for a while, it but stayed, you can build The bankruptcy bank. stays in your record, I think, for seven years. But I've done this before. Yeah. And I, I, I rebuilt my credit very, very quickly. Right. So. I just got a credit card for 1500 which wow. I'm really surprised. I think a bank judgment from 25 years ago for buying a motorcycle, a $10,000 computer, uh, is one of disastrous. A $10,000 computer? Yeah. And a ten thousand dollar motorcycle, and they sold yeah, it, it to me. It must have like, been fucking top notch at the time. At the time, but it's like nothing. Like my phone can it's like be. Your it. phone can be it now. <laughs> I didn't really do much with it. I was like in this huge. Like it was such a weird. That was out in California. I, I never got settled. I was supposed to have a work van. I was I was supposed to fucking drive that yellow car I had to Palm Desert, drop it off at my dad's friends, and then they were gonna sell it. And then I was gonna ride off with. I was gonna buy a mountain bike. I had like t tens of thousands of dollars if I sold that car. Right. Mount nice mountain bike. It wasn't even crazy, like a thousand bucks, like a nice mountain bike. Nice backpack, which I still have. You know, and whatever, like a camera. Yeah. Shit like that, a plan, and then just and then just backpack. Just work, like on the bike. Mm -hmm. Stay at a hotel if I need to. I had money, but keep it cheap, meet people, get my book done. Yeah. Um But when I when I went to those people their house they started like talking about Jesus and shit and I eventually just fucking left. I was like, fuck you. Like, I, I wasn't ready to say savior bullshit for someone who believes in Jeebus, but I was just like, I, I can't, I can't, I don't even want you to sell this thing. Like, this, you, you live in a fantasy. Like, you live in a fantasy in a super, super nice house on a fucking golf course that nobody plays on, eating shit tons of water, rich as fuck talking about Jesus. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, you, you are dying in your house you fake fucks, and it's not real. Like it's it's it, it, and it fucks with children. Even though there's some good that comes from it, it's it's a lie. Speaking of golf, I went to this place called Grandview. Yeah. Which is in Angola. It's super cheap. Owen and I golf for six and a half hours. What like a, a range or a, like was, a, a, like a never-ending? It's a nine-hole golf course. Right. But you can get an all-day pass. So we went through four times. And we had a cart. Nice. But, my, just speaking of golf. My golf cart shit is this, or my golf course thing is this. Like, I say we build it. right. You fucking hate golf courses. No, 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 right. not hate them, but mostly. If you build, we build a golf course and we say, basically everybody gets like a little, like a segue, right? Everybody gets a segue. Like, no bullshit. Okay. The whole thing is local LPS, local positioning system. And and you whenever you're ready, you go out with your friends four at a time, whatever. But but there's no limit on people playing through. Because when you hit your ball, you, you can go, no, you drive up to your ball, 
Yeah. No, and, you, and there's a targeting sensor, so it shows you how to drive up, and then you stop. It'll actually stop for you. You step off the Segway, and it opens a peacock tail. Okay. That protects you from being hit by balls. Okay. And then people can just make it just play. They can just play. Um, and most likely, the balls in the air would also have a chip. So like if a ball was was coming close to you and you happened to be on the Segway and the tail wasn't out or whatever, you could like cover the fuck up. But you could send out mad people to play, right? right. You could like, or you could build a golf course that was just like, I mean, I'd like to build a virtual one where it's just a huge flat circle and people are wearing armor. They have like their head covered and like, and they just and it just tells you where to hit, right? So you see it, you hit the ball, but you might actually hit someone. No, that's but why they're, they're, that's they're, why you have helmets. You're wearing VR, right, so you have a helmet on. And like you probably have like whatever a little back with something shoulder like some little shoulder whatever, but then you could just like feel like you were playing in the greatest courses in the world, and all you're really doing is whacking the ball. And with a little augmented, it'd probably help you to strike better too, because you're not like, yeah, it would work. Either that or a full 18 hole course with like some derivation of the wiffle ball. So like when you like a wiffle 18 hole course would be cool, wouldn't it? Like your drive is 62 yards, and just shrink it all down. Hello. Okay, go ahead. How are you enjoying life so far? Pretty good? Pretty pretty good? It's good to hear. <laughs> it's a it's it's a nice life. She's like, I hate Larry David. Uh -huh. I hate Larry David. <laughs> I hate that show. Hey, Larry David. Um, Let's see, I'm at you Yeah? Yeah. 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 In my dream world, I don't get that type, but that's the type I like. What's the, what, what is the like, just, just a, a cute, cute, normal, cute, seems kind of laid back, right? Has but, a kid by another man <laughs> <laughs> or machine. <laughs> what is he? Did he, did he, uh, he just disappeared, man? Not literally, but he must be eating the blue corn chips. And not noticing it. Very hard to choke on corn chips. Like, you could. But do you have your, 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 your cameras on? Obviously, you He was, well, actually, he was, let's see, he was streaming. Hey, cutie, what are you doing? Hello. Hi. Hello. Having a nice day? Hey, cutie. What's up? Oh, really? Oh, you like his socks? Huh? I don't wear socks. How about that? I like them apples. Right. What about just socks? Couldn't you? Couldn't we? Couldn't we make like really socks. good socks? Huh? Like just socks. Just nice ass socks. You pull them on, you're good. Okay. Like nice bottoms. Like like like. Um, like a little bit of. Oh. Maybe they're like Eddie? Velcro, and you can, maybe it's like Velcro on the bottom, and you at, you step on whatever the fuck you want, or like not Velcro, but like on a lined up system or something. I don't know where you could. Like, so it would wash fine, right? The little rubber things on the sock would be totally fine, but then when you take the piece on the bottom, you gotta put it on, pull, and it locks on, like, sort of like Velcro, right? And you have whatever different style you want. Or just socks, I don't know. I think super socks would be great. Cock socks, fox socks, right? small fox socks, small fox socks. You don't like small fox socks? Is he still streaming? Oh, I don't think he is. I, I'd be 